Hey, Solid. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, y'all. So, y'all, I'm at the walking trail. It is Wednesday, October the 2nd. It's Wednesday, October the 2nd. Y'all, somebody in the house has C-19. <laughs> child, somebody has it. So, we are, um, that person is quarantined to the bedroom. We are there being very cautious. Um, we cleaned really good, wiped everything down. We sprayed Lysol and did everything that we could do to try to um, keep it from spreading or keep anyone else from getting it. Y'all, yesterday I was stuffed up and I had had a couple of um sneezing episodes so i don't know it might have been my sinuses i think when you when you know something like that is going on mentally you start playing into it so um yeah i i saw the feeling bad <laughs> like stuffed up and stuff yesterday but i took a test and it came out negative so um i'm gonna test again in a few more days Hopefully I don't get it. I do not want to get it. I did have it. Um, the first go around when it when it all came out, and it wasn't a pleasant pleasant experience. I'm not trying to get it again. So um, yeah, so that's what's going on in my household, y'all. We got one room on quarantine, and we're being extra cautious with cleaning and wiping and using Lysol and stuff like that. So. I mean it is what it is if you if you work in the real world and you know you you do things on the weekend you around other people it's really it's really really unavoidable you know in some situations so um yeah but anyway i decided to get out of the house um i'm at the trail it's 12 22 i'm gonna get out and start my walk at 12 25 i like the number to be even so I'm going to walk 30 minutes. I thought about doing an hour, but it's too hot. If it wasn't so hot, I would do an hour. But I'm going to definitely do 30 minutes. So that's what I'm doing right now, y'all. Um, I did have uh, a turkey bacon sandwich uh, this morning. I used my Ezekiel toast. Um, Corey made me some turkey bacon. So I had me... Um, a BLT so that's what I had for breakfast with um, a cup of my chamomile and lavender tea and I decided to uh, to get up and, and get some moving y'all so I'm gonna start my walk and yeah so I'll call y'all back when I finish this walk y'all let me let y'all see the weather and the walking trail today. It's really sunny today, y'all. It's really sunny. It's actually hot. Let me get my phone. Hello. Yeah, I think everybody eat that. You feel like making it? Okay, yeah, um, we don't have any more oyster sauce either, so I know we need that. Okay. Thank you. You could just use the red bell peppers, because that's all, that's the only ones they use on the recipe, right? That I saw. Okay. Alright. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I might do the candy today. Tonight. You know, after you finish cooking the plurine candy. So while I'm out, I probably go get the stuff for that. All right. Bye bye. All right. So Cor was just asking me um, what I wanted for dinner. He's gonna try this recipe. Yesterday I saw a recipe on Instagram while I was scrolling. 
And I sent it to him. Whenever I send him something, he be like, what, you wanted me to make that? <laughs> and do. That's why I send it. So, y'all, he's going to make the, um, he's going to make that recipe. It's called the shrimp. Yo, the camera had ran out of space. So I, I'm still sitting in the car. So let me, I was sitting here trying to clear space so that I could record. Anyway, let me get out, get my walk in, and I'll call y'all back. Yo, I'm out here by myself. I'm the only one. There were two people out here when I came. But I was in the car clearing space on my, um, SD card and shit. It, during that time, they did their walks and left. So it's just me. I have the whole trail to myself. <laughs> it's hot, y'all, but it's a pretty day. It's a beautiful day, but it's very, very hot. Out there, so. Hot, hot with a breeze. That makes any sense at all. I am wearing my um, my sweatband, y'all. Let's see. I'm wearing my sweatband. That I got from Amazon. Every time I walk, I wear it actually. And I feel like it's making a difference. That and y'all, I don't snack anymore. Not like talking about now. I don't snack anymore. The last time, so I weighed myself twice within the last couple of weeks, right? So about two weeks, uh, about, I'm going to say two weeks. I was about to say we can have about two weeks ago. I took my weight and I was 186. What day was it? Was it the weekend? I think over the this, last, this past weekend, I took my weight and I was one. What I said, I was 186. It was a it was a six or uh, seven pound difference. So I think I was 180 if I was 86. Was I 183 or 186? That's a shame, y'all. I don't remember. I think I was 186, and I went down to 179. Is what it was. So that's about six pounds, seven pounds. So I feel like I lost seven pounds. And that was good. All right, y'all. I just transitioned to the phone because I ran out of storage again. That's never happened to me before, so I'll deal with that later. Anyway, I was saying that um, the not snacking, because snacks really, I never really ate bad. I, I'm, I'm just a late night snacker. And I really think that the late night snacking had a lot to do with menopause. You know, that comes with the aging process. And I was having a lot of um, symptoms of menopause. And I was having a lot of sugar cravings. So late at night, whew, between like 12 and 3 in the morning, I would get up and go in the pantry and raid the cabinet for like um, cookies or chips, just snacks. And it was getting worse and worse till I had to really, really get a hold of myself and just stop. Um, so yeah, it was really bad. So I just stopped. And I'm seeing a big difference. You know, just, just in my weight alone, you know. And I can tell the way I, the way I really know when I lose weight is I know the wind's blowing. In the mic, I hope it's not affecting the sound too much, y'all. Uh, 
it's really windy out here even though it's hot but like i was saying yeah i, I see a big difference in my oh somebody's out here y'all he just came out of nowhere i don't know where he was well they, they had a car in the parking lot so maybe he was in a, sitting in his car but now there's someone out here running but anyway uh yeah I, I saw a big difference in my weight uh like right now i mean the way i know when i'm losing weight is the way my clothes fit so my pants are fitting differently in the waist the butt area y'all are y'all one of the people i'm one of those people when i lose weight i lose my butt and i don't like that so i'm implementing exercises to try to keep my backside more firm um firm y'all and plump <laughs> you know i don't want to be sagging so y'all it's work on top of every other thing i have to implement workouts walks you know a good diet while still maintaining you know a balance because just because i'm trying to eat better and change my diet does not mean other people are and i still cook for them so most of the time when i cook for them i don't eat what i cook i'm basically cooking for them so yeah y'all uh but i'm feeling good though i've been feeling good lately uh you know, besides the menopausal symptoms, all right, so let me tell y'all what symptoms I've had. And I had to do my research about some because I was getting certain pains and stuff, and I'd be like, Lord, what is going on with me? You literally feel like you're starting to just fall apart, but, you know, you have to just do your research and when i first entered this phase my my doctor warned me <laughs> my gynecologist she told me she was like you're gonna see a lot of changes she said if you need to call and ask me anything feel free she said but your body's transforming and you know you're gonna see differences in your appetite cravings aches pains and she gave me a pamphlet with all kinds of other stuff and i'm like i was looking at the pamphlet one day i was like do i have to have every symptom <laughs> every last one so y'all i've had the cravings the sugar cravings late at night uh the weight gain in my waist area that just came out of nowhere, um, which I've all, I always had. Now, I, my waist hadn't been snatched and small for, for a while, but I did see a significant increase in my weight in my waist area for sure during menopause. Um, I've had something called frozen shoulder, um, a little bit of sometimes feeling off balance. Uh, shucks, foggy, foggy brain, forgetfulness. Yeah. Uh, oh, the hot flashes. How could I ever forget that? The hot flashes, joint pains, and aches. It's real, y'all. It's real. So be prepared. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Everybody's probably affected differently for sure, but man i feel like i'm textbook when it comes to the symptoms i feel like i i just i've been experiencing every symptom that could be experienced and y'all i had a bit of a scare right because i started having um like soreness or pains in my chest or breast area so you know the first thing came to mind was the big 
C word that all, you know, that women should be mindful of. And we go get that mammogram for once a year, right? So I was like, oh my God, what's going on? You know, I'm feeling pains up there. Y'all, I, I never knew that that was a symptom of menopause, to have aches in your breast. But I didn't take it for granted and just assume that's what it was. I actually scheduled a mammogram, which, oh my God, that's a whole nother story, y'all, because I had already had one. It hadn't been 12 months since my last one. So the insurance company was fighting me on getting another one at no cost. Y'all, why if, if we have health insurance, health care insurance, if you need another anything, you should be able to get it. I, for the life of me, y'all, I don't understand. Uh, it, you know, just because I had one, it hadn't been 12 months. You all won't give me a, y'all only gonna allot me one. We pay insurance monthly. Probably never gonna use um, for the amount of money y'all y'all get annually I'm never gonna use that in real health care I do my annual visit um, my annual mammogram and any other time I have a doctor's appointment as far as just uh, medical with my body and not not including eyes and um, dental <clears throat> you know you, you only go like maybe if you if you get sick or whatever uh, sick enough to go because the average person knows how to treat themselves You know if they get a cold or You know something like that even the flu nowadays, you know You don't always have to run to the doctor all the time. So You know y'all collect a lot of money from people annually and deny them Services, you know when it's needed if I if it's a chance if I'm having having symptoms and I need a test Y'all want to prove it because I had one within the last 12 months? Well, maybe I need two <laughs> within a 12-month period. Maybe something new happened. It's crazy, y'all. It's, it's a shame how the healthcare industry um, capitalized and make all this money off of people, you know, and... It's so hard to get what you need out of them, you know? It's always a fight or a battle for what you deserve and what you're actually paying for. You know, is it, am I, do y'all agree? Y'all let me know in the comments, do y'all agree um, with what I just said um, as far as health care insurance? And how does your health care insurance work for you? How's it working for you? Have you had any issues like that? And then there's co-pays and why? Why is there a co-pay? Who made that up? Who came up with that? Because you get, I pay you every month. So why you need something when I actually go? Why I got to pay something? <sighs> yeah, so. You know, just life struggles, you know. Daily life. Daily life. The things people deal with every day. I may use some of the equipment today for my cool down. Yeah. I might do the leg press for my cool down today. And then, y'all, I still do my 10 to 15 minute leg and arm workout. So I'll probably do that tonight again right before I go to bed. So I've been pretty consistent, y'all, and I'm seeing the results. So I definitely can't walk every day. And that's the main reason I implemented the 10 to 15 minutes a day daily because I can't get to walk every day. I average three walks per week. My goal is four. I average three. And if things are going on, special events, birthdays, you know, just things going on, I might... I might get two a week, but 
I average three, but my goal is four. And just to cover myself, I do the 10 to 15 minute arm and leg workout. So, yep. Y'all, the last two nights for dinner, I had sauteed mushrooms, no starch, so I didn't have it with rice or pasta or anything like that. Just sauteed mushrooms, which were delicious, and uh, sliced cucumbers. So y'all, tonight I just sauteed some mushrooms, some chopped seasoning, garlic powder, minced garlic. So no meat, no starches, no rice, anything like that. And I fixed me some sliced cucumbers on the side with a little bit of um, Olive Garden Italian, classic Italian, signature Italian dressing. <laughs> and so that's it y'all. This is my Monday night. I already took my bath and got ready for bed. So after I eat this, y'all, I'm going to read some of my book and relax. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow with salad dressing. And that's it. That's been my dinner two days in a row. So I think now I'm trying to eat more for my health and just finding weight, uh, finding things that I like that I can make taste good and work for me. <clears throat> um, and it's been working, it's been working so far. So I know I'm talking your head off with that, but it's just something that I wanted to talk to y'all about. Uh, Cause I've been struggling back and forth with that, like my eating habits, especially if you, you are a working person, like a, a person that goes to a job every day it's kind of a struggle to eat good because if you don't meal prep or if you don't bring lunch with you, you're gonna end up eating unhealthy unhealthy food. It's just it's just bound to happen, you know. So uh, I've done that a lot at work, going eating fried food, seafood, fish plates, pool boys fried chicken, chicken strips, french fries, is, which is something we really need to cut out of our diet. Y'all, y'all know on a Saturday when I'm running errands and I'm hungry, I'll go get me a sweet tea and order fries. That was my, my thing. So I just had to stop doing that. It's not really healthy. Um, yeah, so I've been a little bit better with meal prepping for work. So, and y'all, some days when I don't bring lunch, I literally, I keep a box of oatmeal at work. That's like my go-to. Like if I don't have anything, even for lunch, if I don't have anything good to eat, I'll just make me a pack of oatmeal and it'll hold me until I get home. So I've been doing that. And um, it's been working, y'all. It's been working. So, yep. Anywho, I'm going to pick up my pace and wrap up this walk. And I will call y'all back. So it's been 20 minutes. I got 10 minutes to go, y'all. <laughs>